Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at these things. Good old fashioned spinning disk hard drives. Now when it comes to retro computers I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with these. For me when it's the full retro computer experience you've got to have a hard disk in there. There's something about the sound of them as they're working away, you know, reading and writing data to the disc that just adds to the nostalgia kick, to the experience. It's a bit like how I like to put a floppy disk drive into my retro computers, even though I hardly ever use it. But when you turn the power on and you hear the floppy disk drive seek, if that noise isn't there, for me it feels like something's missing. And it's the same with these in that sort of scenario. However, there's times on retro computers where I just want to use the thing. I just want to play a game, use a piece of software, whatever it might be. And then I don't want to wait five minutes or something for Windows to load or loading screens between levels in the game, whatever it is. For me, in that case, forget the hard drive. Give me a compact flash card or SD card, whatever. Something that's much faster than these things and reduces those, um, you know, reduces those loading times. But for the times when there is a hard disk in the computer, it's worth remembering that these are mechanical things. Uh, eventually they will wear out, they will fail. So I always think it's worthwhile just having a few backups ready to go, uh, you know, for when that inevitably happens. Also, a couple of these I've got my own for future bills that you will be seeing in the channel in the future. So all I wanted to do in today's video was, we'll have a quick look at each of these five disks, and then we'll give each one a test see if it works. Right, let's have a look at the first one. First up, we've got a pair of drives. Looking at these together because they're virtually identical. They're three and a half inch hard disk drives like all the drives in the video are today. These are Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM hard disks. Both uh, 40 gigabytes in capacity and both got the 40 pin IDE uh, interface on. They're the two oldest drives uh, that I've got to have a look at today. They're model number ST340014A. Don't know if that tells us much about them. Same firmware on them both. Same capacity. And looking at the date code on them, they were both manufactured in 2004. So, not a million mile of 20 years old now coming up on these. Touch wood, I'd still expect both of these to be working. I like the fact that they're identical. I think that opens up some interesting possibilities about what we can do with these. The small capacity size means we could probably use them right back from Windows... Um, 98 or even I think some of the later revisions in 95 so these would be good ones to take a look at. Right what's next? Next up is the largest hard drive that we've got today. This is a Seagate drive 500 gigabytes. It's labelled as a video 3.5 inch hard disk so maybe this came out of something like a CCTV system or something like that. So based on that, if that's right, maybe this has had quite a hard life having video written to it uh, on end for a number of hours a day. It is um, Serial ATA, not a problem for retro machines. The ones that um, are too old to take that, there are, con there are converters available that will take uh, Serial ATA back to uh, an IDE interface. Date code on this, 2016, so just five or six years old. If it was used perhaps in some sort of CCTV system or something like that, there's a small chance it could have a sort of funky format on there that perhaps Windows might not understand. So that'll be something to keep an eye out for when we test it. Next up, we've got a MaxTor, MaxLine 3. This is a 250 gig model. Serial ATA again, like that uh, last Seagate. Fair bit older than the Seagate. Although it's the older 3 gig per second, um, which was that? Was that Serial ATA 2? I can't remember, but either way, it's not going to come anywhere close to saturating that. Uh, looking at the date code, it's March 2006, 11th of March 2006 when that was manufactured. 
No guesses at all about what this might have been used for. You could certainly see something like this been perhaps taken out of a Windows XP or maybe a Windows Vista machine if indeed it was used in a PC. Right, finally. A Hitachi. It feels strangely like this one. I hope it's got some platters inside. July 2011. Uh, 250 gigs again. Perhaps it's the fact that by this time they'd uh, condensed the uh, you know the data density on the platters down enough that maybe even though it's sort of a normal hard drive thickness if you like maybe there's only uh, the one platter in here. Serial ATA six gig. Just trying to look for the model name. I can't actually see anything on it. it just says an Itachi seven thousand two hundred RPM. Other than that, not much more. Were Hitachi still naming their drives? At this point, I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, bit of a mystery this one. We'll have to wait and see what happens when we plug it in and uh, give it a test. So here's his five hard drives that we're going to be taking a look at. We're going to be plugging them into a Windows 10 PC. Using this, it's one of those USB 3 to IDE slash SATA adapters. So we've got um, SATA on that side, 44 pin IDE on this side and 40 pin IDE on this side. That's USB 3 connection to the computer. Separate power supply for the drives that need more power than a USB port can give. I've used this lots of times. It uh, usually does the job of connecting them up. So let's head on over to the Windows 10 PC and we'll see what we got. Okay, we're here on my Windows 10 machine. And first up, we've got hard disk number one, which is the first of the two Seagate Barracuda 40 gigabyte drives. Let's plug it in, see what happens. Drive is spinning up. That sounds good. Yeah, straight away Windows recognizes it. And here it is, Seagate 40 gig, drive F. Uh, looks freshly formatted, all looks like it's working. Let's just try copying some into it. Yep, that's fine. Oh, that's copied absolutely no problems. Well, that's a cracking start. Let's hope the other Seagate works just as well. Moving on to number two. Okay, Seagate Barracuda 40 gig number two. Here goes. Let's plug it in. Drive spinning up. Sounds good, just like the last one. Next up, hard disk number three, the Max, uh, Max Line 3, 250 gig serial ATA. Right, I've got it plugged in, let's switch on. It's spinning up. Okay, Windows recognizes something. Okay, so while the drive spun up, I'm not hearing any activity from the heads and Windows sees the drive, but when I try and click on it, just getting nothing. So I think this one needs a bit more thorough investigation later on. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, drive number four is the Seagate video hard disk, the 500 gig one. Let's plug it in and cross his fingers for some better look compared to the last drive. Spinning up. Ah, Windows recognizes it straight away. And here it is, the disk. Again, looks freshly formatted, um, although there are a few files here. In fact, looking at the name of this particular folder here, EPG Data, I don't think this, was, this uh, drive was from a sort of security camera system. I think this drive was out of a set-top box. Uh, I'm guessing EPG data would have been uh, electronic program guide data, you know, where it'd store all that lot. So uh, probably from a you know set-top box DVR, something like that. Uh, so yeah, depending on the people that um, you know, the people that originally used this in the set-top box uh, could have had quite a hard life, or perhaps not. But it's here. It's working. Um, give that a, another fresh format I reckon and that should be good to go. 
Right, let's move on to the next one. Disc number five is the 250 gigabyte Hitachi from 2011. Right, we're plugged in. Drive is spinning up. That does not sound healthy. It's not the click of death, but it's... It sounds like it's trying to seek, but not actually managing it, so... I'll probably look into this one a bit more off camera, but... It doesn't sound good, so... I think for now, that's a red cross for the Hitachi. So where does that leave us? Well, I guess 3 out of 5 ain't too bad. As we said at the start of the video, these are mechanical items. It's inevitable that some of them are just going to wear out or fail. The Hitachi, that one is definitely dead. And the Maxter, I think it needs a little more investigation off camera, but I don't hold out uh, high hopes for that one. It's likely that those two are just going to be stripped down for the magnets. The 500 gig Seagate, that one's going into the spare parts box. And the two Seagate uh, Barracudas, the 40 gig drives, you're going to be seeing those in an upcoming video on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this one, just taking a quick look at these hard disks. If you have, give us a thumbs up and all that good stuff. But for now, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.